in here. Special instructions inside. Whatever that means. I'll go ahead and cut those. Got our trigger systems here. One, two, three, four, five, five trigger systems. These are the uh, QMS trigger systems, the quality mill spec. Uh, I've showcased these a few times before. Uh, these are the ones that I like to use as the base in my rifles. Uh, I mean, you know, don't get me wrong, I, I go all the way up to, like in my 3G, it's got the Geisley uh, Super 3G. But these for just a production rifle or just, you know, a, a truck gun, something like that. Um, to e even all the way to a, a, a nice hunting platform or a gun that you would, would shoot some longer range stuff with. These triggers can do all of that. Um, they're a mil spec trigger, so they're reliable, and they what they basically it's it's a polished mil spec trigger. So the spring rates are mil spec. Everything about it is mil spec, except for all of your sear and disconnect and all your contact surfaces, your friction points are polished, and uh, you wouldn't believe the difference that it makes. Um, and for the difference in cost of these versus a regular mill spec trigger, um, you know, these run about 60 bucks. Um, it's well worth it because someone would end up paying me more than that um, in the time it would take me to clean up a mill spec trigger when you can just buy it like this. So, pretty nice to set up. Got more of these on the way, but. Uh, there we go. Just figured I'd show you guys that. It's an interesting unboxing. This is probably going to be in with uh, some other stuff. So I'm not really sure how the it'll end up on the editing. If it'll come in before or after or whatever. But uh, let's see. Pan over here, a little look around the shop. There's a Tech 9 that I'm working on. Yeah, my uh, little melter is an old, old Redding um, little lead melter. I've been using it for niter bluing. Well, it took a dump on me. You can see that's where it's taken apart. Actually, right there is, <laughs> that's the solidified niter bluing in the tub. Still got my thermometer sticking in there. So I'm going to have to buy a new melter. I guess I'll probably order that this evening. But anyways, that's what's going on here. And here we go for another unboxing. This ought to be a decent one. Factory crimp die for the 3030 Winchester. We've got a Burris Fast Fire 2. And I don't remember if there's anything else that was in there or not. Look on my invoice and see. Yeah, there was some ammo, but we all know what 
ordering ammo is like right now. So, fast fire two. So we'll go ahead. Even though it's sealed, I'm gonna make sure that everything is right. It appears to be. These are really great little sites for no more money than you pay for them. Um, a lot of people that don't know any better will think that by looking at the Burris site, it looks, oh, that looks just like the NS an NC Star, or that looks just like, you know, whatever the $40 brand may be. It is not the same. If you pull them apart and you look at the adjustments and the way that, or just the way that you adjust windage and elevation, even on the outside, it may look like it's the same hardware, but when you pull it apart and you look underneath there at the way that it's made, completely different. This is a very good, robust site for the money. Absolutely. <clears throat> Highly recommend it. I've run them on Glocks before. Um, this is actually going on a Glock as well. Do a video on that. It's not too often that I just complain, necessarily, especially about companies. Um, usually I try and be pretty, pretty understanding, stuff like that. I just, I had this uh, job here on drilling the slide on this Glock, and I only had one carbide drill bit in that particular size for what I needed. And uh, it, it, it had some time on it. I'd resharpened it a few different times, and uh, it finally just, it, it broke to the point where I just wasn't able to, to get it sharpened again. Well, I looked around, I couldn't find one, locally and so I called Granger. I've been doing all my business with Fastenal and Fastenal didn't have it and so I called Granger and set up an account and the gentleman that I set the account up with also took my order since it just so happened that all last week my internet was down and that's another gripe about Charter that I won't even go into. Um, so since I didn't have access to the internet um, this gentleman uh, was real nice looked up the part number for me, took my credit card information, everything, set up the account, did everything for me. And uh, it was guaranteed by the next day. Well, that day passed, the next morning showed up, nothing came. I called Granger. They never had a record of the transaction. They had me in the system as far as just setting up an account, but the order was never placed. So I gave this guy my credit card information and nothing was ever placed. Well, they ended up, they told me that I was going to have to pay for Saturday delivery if I needed to get it in ASAP. Well, long story short, Granger did make it right. They did. Uh, actually, all I asked for was that I didn't have to pay the difference between the normal delivery and the Saturday delivery. And they actually gave me free shipping. And, you know, that's that's fine. So it started out as a gripe again about Granger and what happened. But that was just one person that made that mistake. And I'm not going to gripe about an entire company over one person's mistake um, because they they went above and beyond what I asked and they have about anything you want you do not have to be a company or a business to purchase from Granger um, you can go on their website and they have a very very extensive line of stuff you would be surprised at all of the stuff that is on Granger's website uh, anyways this one drill bit pretty much cost me more than what this job is worth, but this one drill bit will last a long time as long as I take care of it. But you pretty much, to the best of my knowledge, unless someone else has got some other secret out there, if you're wanting to drill a Glock slide, you pretty much need a carbide drill bit or bust. A cobalt won't even make chips. I'll show you uh, on one of my videos coming up where I'm doing the mounting this red dot on this Glock slide, I'll show you um, where I just attempted, here, turn the camera up so you can see me, um, where I attempted just last ditch effort to use a cobalt drill bit. It was the hardest thing that I could find. Um, and 
I'll show you what cobalt does to a Glock slide. Nothing. It doesn't even make chips. Not when, I mean, you slow it down, you, whatever you want to do. It doesn't even make chips on it. Uh, my drill press will only go so slow. So maybe if I was able to bring another, you know, 100, 200 RPMs off of it, it might have started cutting, but nah. Gotta have cobalt or carbide. So, anyways, that's my gripe, but it actually ends in something good. So, thanks for watching. Number of things here that I'm gonna put into this one deal. I've been trying out, I'm trying out some different samples and stuff. This is actually a pressure switch for my um, ND3P Sub Zero that uh, you know my late my the green laser device that I have on my AR um, actually the, this is a different pressure switch than the one that came on it but I like this one much better um, the one that came with it was a lot longer and it had a lot longer uh, cord with uh, a coil a coiled area I like this much better and uh, pending that that fits in it this will be a real winner but anyways Gamo sent me one of these out free of charge uh, because I am a, an instructor and uh, I'm actually going to be offering a course, a night course, based around the use of, I need to sharpen this knife, geez, based around the use of that uh, Laser Genetics ND3P Sub-Zero versus a white light. Um, so that's going to be a, an interesting class. Um, it's going to be, it'll be unique because there's a lot of night shooting courses out there. This is going to be the only one that I know of that is centered around a, one of the laser illuminator uh, designs that's out there now. This knife is a dismal embarrassment right now. I need to sharpen this thing. All right. I'm trying out some different samples here. From, or, I mean, I know what the product is, but I just got... Uh, a few companies that have been sending me stuff to try out, they know that I'm always trying gear out. And this is a Blackhawk uh, system here. And what this, these Blackhawk systems do is they are, they allow you to mount your Serpa. Boy, they package these up here. What they do is they will allow you to take your Serpa holster and they give you a place for you to clip this in. This hooks into a Molly system and then all these holes here are to mount your Serpa holster and they will attach a Serpa holster to Molly very, very well. I got a couple of those. And uh, then I've got, let's see what else. Couple different ones of those. I have got. Sorry for all the off camera stuff. I've got so many projects going on at once in the shop here. This is the only clear area that I've got that I'm not ashamed to post up for you guys to see. So bear with me. I'm always asking you to bear with me because I'm always embarrassed of my shop. All right, this is um, this is a battle belt. Um, as a matter of fact, I had to look and see what brand name they sent me. Uh, but this is and actually this one comes with uh, kind of a, a belt built in. I'll probably replace that with uh, the Condor belt that I have. Uh, as you see, these Molly sections here are set up or the black hot holster set to where it'll go in there and of course me being left handed it will allow me to put that wherever I want or if I had like on the chest rig that I'm giving away I can mount it in there and you can mount this right in the molly and then your different uh, uh, hole pattern there for your screw mounting on that uh, Serpa holster can allow you to angle it however you want. I'll do a video on putting this all together but this these actually come with suspenders that are detachable um, so if you really get this thing loaded down, um, you can run those. But 
You can also use the attachment points for uh, your, like if you have a, a load vest or something like that. But this is just a, I probably won't be running the suspenders or anything, but this is just a, a good, nice load carrying belt that uh, I'm going to run this for most of my classes because a lot of, especially uh, a lot of your women, housewives, stuff like that, they don't want to see tactical carry showing up, tactical Tom showing up. Um, in a full chest rig and everything, uh, walk on the scene to teach their class. They just want to know how to protect themselves. And, uh, you know, whenever you intimidate them, it, it, it doesn't help any. This, get it out of here. this is a new Trunion with bullet guide, all made in USA. Um, this is going on one of the AK kits that I'm building. And uh, it's a really nice trunnion. New production. Uh, if anybody's interested in these, uh, I can get them for, I think they're around 60, 70 bucks, something like that. Um, somewhere right around there. So if anyone's interested, uh, they can let me know. Uh, and that comes with a bullet guide. Um, so see if I, I can help anyone out. You know, let me know. Um, Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll get to it now.